Hello there. Welcome again to this amazing and exciting tutorial on generation of heat maps by object tracking. Heat maps excel in visualizing intricate data patterns and correlations. They are most suitable in the scenarios where we want to know or get an idea of how many customers are inside a shopping mall or we want to know how people are running in a marathon. Also, if we want to get an idea of how premises of a shopping mall is getting utilized. In this tutorial, we will be taking as I input this video and we will be generating a heat map like this. In this tutorial for object tracking, we are going to use YOLO for object tracking and for heat map generation, we will be using Ultralytics Solutions module. So before further ado, let's start our journey. So let me input all the necessary libraries which we are going to need. We will be needing YOLO from Ultralytics. Also, since we are using heat map from Ultralytics solution, we will be importing that as well. And for image manipulations, we will be using OpenCV. So let's import all of it. Perfect. Now let me create a function. The name of our function should be what should I name it? Let me name it track and create heat map. Perfect. Now next step is to get the path of our video which we are going to use to process. So the path of this video is here. Let me copy it from here. Copy path reference and there you go. So path is equal to this. Perfect. Now next step is to load our YOLO model. So this is how I am going to load the YOLO model. Model is equal to YOLO and we will be specifying the exact name of our model which we are going to use. So let me copy the name of my model from here. So next step from here is to read the video. So let me read the video using video capture method from OpenCV. So this is how we are going to do it. VS is equal to, it should be single equal to not double. VS is equal to video capture, CV dot video capture. Now let me extract each and every from that video and display it. Let me create a while loop here. So this will help us to display each and every frame from our video. So let me create two more variables here. One is grabbed and another is frame. Now using email.so function, let me display all the grabbed frame one by one. So that's how I'm going to do it. Just give me a little space here. That's it. Perfect. So we are going inside this loop. We are grabbing each frame from this video and we are showing all the frames here. Let me just give a bracket here. That's it. Perfect. Now let me just run and see what's happening in this function. Let me call this function. Perfect. So we are able to display all the frames from this video here. Let me just cross it. Perfect. Now since we are able to successfully extract each and every frame from this video, in next step what we will do, we will try to apply track on each frame and based on the results of those tracks, we will try to generate heat map of each and every object. So before generating a heat map, we will be needing a heat map object, which is from this ultralytics.solutions. So let me create an heat map object for you. So I have created a heat map object here. And since we are in need of our image width and image height, that's why I have to grab the frame here once again. And using frame.save function, I'm trying to grab the height, width and channel of our image. By image, I mean the frame. So I may use frame and image interchangeably in this video. Now, since we have our hit object already assigned with all the necessary arguments, what we will do, we will try to track each and every object inside this frame. But before that, let me create a flag here to identify whether we have reached the end of our video or not. Perfect. Now let me start my tracking on this frame. So let me initialize my variable track and track should be done on this frame. Perfect. So using our model, we are tracking each and every object inside this frame and all the results are stored inside this track. Now using this track results, we will try to generate the heat map on each and every frame. Perfect. Now let me utilize all these tracks to generate a heat map using the heat map function. So let me generate a frame. Let me name it final frame. Final frame will be nothing but our final image with heat map generated on this particular frame. And this particular frame is nothing but the extracted frame from our video. So let me generate my heat map here. Now input to this generate heat map function is our frame and our tracks here. So let me specify all the necessary arguments. There should be one comma here. What a silly mistake. 
why is this comma here perfect so this is our final frame and let me show you all the frames to so let me just copy this here perfect using image dot so we are able to show the final frame as well let's just run and see whether we are able to achieve our heat map or not okay so it is generating our heat map but somehow it is switching between its original form and the heat map form i think i know how to solve this so let me just stop it and let me load the large model so i think it's a issue from the small model if, if we load the large model and run it this issue is gone perfect we are able to generate the heat map from this video but there is one more issue here if you'll see we have somehow duplicated two windows here you see our output is coming in two windows this is because here in view image we have given as true let me just pause it and if we supply this as false our this problem is solved let me just run it again perfect we are able to generate the heat map of this football game and the issue of duplicating windows is also solved now let's save this video in our local drive and try to visualize the heat map let's write our code to save the video to our local drive let me first create the writer and height and width which we are going to use with our writer object let me copy the code from my earlier version to make my life easy so we have named our generated heat map as game heat map and we will be trying to save it in the same folder in which our code resides and here we are writing it now let's just run and save it in our local folder okay so here is our generated video game heat map let me play it for you and let's see whether we have successfully achieved our heat map or not so there you go let me minimize it and let's play it perfect the output is quite crazy we are successfully drawing heat map of each and every person playing football in that game pretty amazing result isn't it let's try to draw heat map of another use case so let me first stop it let's try to track people in another scenarios as well so let me try to run my heat map on this let me first play the video for you and there you go so let's try to track each and every person in this video and let's try to generate heat map in this video as well. So idea is that this is a premises of a shopping mall and we are trying to generate heat map in this premise so that we get an idea of how many people are actually moving in through this premises. Let me copy the video path from in fact I can directly supply the video path here so let me run and see whether we are able to generate the heat map for that video or not pretty amazing we are successfully able to generate the heat map of the person walking in this premises but there are some people which we are not able to detect if we play with the confidence score of our ml model we can successfully track each and every person in this video but playing with a confidence score will go beyond the scope of this video so let's just keep this as it is visualizing heat map on frame by frame it hard to visualize so let's just run it and save the generated heat map and let's try to run the video so here is our generated video pretty amazing result isn't it we have successfully tracked each and every person in this video and we have generated the heat map out of it with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you have learned something through this tutorial if you are looking for object tracking and object counting check out my other tutorials as well where i have explained in detail how we can track the number of moving vehicles on a road don't forget to like and subscribe now see you in next video guys